Well, good evening, campers. Um, just takes the boat up in the boatyard at the moment. It's just about going dark, just after 10 p.m. Um, plan for tomorrow morning. Um, I'm going to launch the boat um, just before sunrise um, at Menai Bridge. Um, then my brother Paul and our friend Rob are coming down to meet me. They're not getting down till about nine o'clock though. So I think what I'm going to do is probably go up towards Beaumaris and throw some loads around for the bass. Um, that's bad on my steering wheel. Woo. Uh, yeah, throw some uh, loads around for the bass. Um, put some feathers out, try and get some mackies for bait. Um, then we're going to swing round, go straight down the other way uh, towards Carnarvon. Um, out for the day, there he is again. Out for the day um, from Carnarvon. I think the weather's just about going to hold. Certainly in the morning, I think we'll be able to get out of the straits. Um, go and try and find the dolphins, uh, some rays for the lads, maybe a chance for a taupe. Um, and then probably in the afternoon, we'll come back uh, and sling some lures for the bass. Um, yep, so that's the plan for the morning. So I'm going to head over to Menai Bridge now, get the van set up for the night. And uh, yeah, see you in the water in the morning. Well, still works. That's me here. Uh, very old life jacket. Wasn't sure if it was uh, still functional to be fair, but uh, got it caught in the van door and it definitely works. Morning boat fans. Welcome to the Moody Menai. It is a grey morning. I woke up at four, my alarm, and it was pissing down. So I went back to bed for an hour. Um, got up at just after five o'clock, um, and it stopped raining pretty much. So we launched, it is now, that is wrong. Not worn this watch for a while. It is now five past six. <laughs> yep, and we're ready to roll. I'm just tying up um, a couple of sets of feathers. Then we're gonna go up um, to Bangor Pier have a look if there's anything around the end of there and then if not um, a little bit further up towards Beaumaris see if we can catch um, some early morning mackerel and maybe even a bass you never know stranger things have happened we'll get a couple of feathers tied up we've got uh, three hours before my brother and Rob gets here so let's go and see if we can get some bait for them Start off with a couple of sets of feathers. These are my go-tos. They never fail. Well, pretty much never fail anyway. Yeah, flayed and living shrimps. Can't beat these, catch everything on them as well. Hooks are quite big, um, but still don't seem to be uh, too much trouble. Small mackerel, I've had like decent-ish sized bass on them as well. Yeah, these are always my first port of call. And on the spinning rod, to start with, cause a set of little sabikis in case there's any really small stuff. Uh, little live bait mackerel, lawns, herring, that sort of tackle on these. So I always have a set of those on the spinning rod to start with, just in case the uh, pink devils are too big. Just had my first mackie of the day. Hopefully, there's a 
hopefully there's a few more around. Um, just been uh, giving some sand deals as well. So I've got a float out now drifting behind us with a live sand deal on. Whilst I try and catch some bait for today. So hopefully I might uh, sneak a bass out on these uh, float fish sand deals. Got about an hour before I have to head back and get Paul and Rob. So fingers crossed and get a couple more mackerel and maybe a bonus bass. First bass of the day on the sand eels. Only a little one, but it's a good start. Happy days. There's a mum and calf out here. Um, they look quite small, probably a poor place. There they are. I don't know if you saw them there. Just been right up alongside the boat. But uh, Paul's here now, so I've got to go gutted. See if we can get them on camera just before we go. There they are, centre shot. I'll uh, have a zoom on that. Beautiful to see. Lovely stuff. Right, back to Menai Bridge to pick up Paul and Rob. Send it back down. Hey. Oh, sorry. Mate. No worries. <laughs> yep. Well done, mate. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's smashing it. <laughs> Macro king. Oh, it's a bigger one. That's more like it. Proper one, mate. You got it. Yeah, man. That's a better one. Ah, oh, there we go. More like it. Whoa! Whoa oh, look oh. at this. Hey! <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, we hit him there. Oh, these couple for Paul as well. Oh, we're cooking on gas now. Tons of mackerel in the bag, mostly thanks to Rob. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Paul was dreadful. Paul was dreadful at it. So uh, yeah, Rob's caught most of him. You always want to see the person on the maiden guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Rob sorted us out with bait, and now the uh, ray rods are in, just drifting about uh, three quarters of a mile an hour at the moment. Hopefully, we can get a couple of rays each. 
Paul's drawn first blood. I'm not sure what it is. Hey, oh, just uh, tighten the drag up on the on the corner. Yep. What have you got? Uh, yep, keep going. There's something on, there's something on there. Oh, yep. Yeah, there definitely is. Yep, it's a ray. First ray mondo. You can have a cover. <laughs> <laughs> right, see a bit of colour now. Should be nearly there. There we go. There Uh, they, they're coming backwards a lot, it's just right around his tail, he's fine. Paul's first ray, <laughs> but he's too mad to hold it. It's a dogfish! Oh man! Wow! <laughs> That's awesome! It's getting a bit lumpy out here now. Yeah. Rob's just had a dogfish. But no more rays, it's just the one. Mm. Yeah, the wind's picked up a little bit. And it's a bit rocky at the moment. It's all going on. Rob's got a little gurnard. And Paul somehow managed to catch a mackerel on a bit of mackerel. <laughs> so all go. Uh, just had a quick move after the gurnard and mackerel fiasco. The lads have swapped over places. <laughs> just need a, uh, a ray for Rob. Can move over to land wind, try and uh, shelter from this wind a little bit because it's getting up. Come on, Rob, do us a ray. What have you got here, Paul? Yeah, it looks big. Oh, it's just a foul up mackerel. <laughs> we got all excited oh, then. <laughs> it's a big foul up mackerel, yeah. like, but. <laughs>
Uh, nothing much happening down Landwin, so we're going to go back up to Head of the Menai and see if we can catch some bass. Um, still got some sand eels and we've got some little livey mackerels. Oh, oh hang on, hang on! He's got another gurnard! Hey! <laughs> Baby gurnard! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Back he goes! Go on, lad. I know where you go. Bet they're in there every week, those farmers <laughs> stocking up. That's all good a pot, is it? No. Bit of cow shit, to be real. <laughs> Happens to the best of us, mate. absolutely knackered that has been a long day I was up at four uh, went back to sleep for an hour though didn't it four um, but yeah up properly at five after four hours sleep so absolutely knackered back in the van now cleaned up fire bolts are cleaned down and packed and ready to go for tomorrow and um, being joined by Paul tomorrow Going out from Menai Bridge again, early doors. Um, I think we're going to go up towards Puffin Island tomorrow. The uh, the weather looks better that side, um, and hopefully be able to get out around Puffin Island in the morning. But for now, I am going to bed. It's about nine o'clock, and I am shattered. That has really taken out of me today. So, lights out. I'll see you in the morning.
Well, good morning, boat fans. Welcome to a stunner of a morning. Just up by Bo Maris at the moment, just flown up here. Let's turn on so you can see my beautiful face. Oh, that's better. Yep, just there, uh, round at Bo Maris at the moment. Um, just flown up to see the sunset more than anything. Get the drone up, had a good fly around with the drone, so hopefully that came out well. But yeah, absolute stunner of a morning. Not a breath of wind. A few clouds in the sky, but the sun's just there. Uh, broken the clouds on the horizon. Awesome morning. Um, weather today is uh, really good up until lunch, and then the wind picks up a little bit. Um, I've got um, Paul coming down um, to see me today, come out on the boat. Um, not really got any plans, to be honest. I'll see what he fancies doing. But probably first port of call is to get up and round uh, Penmon, maybe past Puffin Island, see if there's any Mackies out there whilst the wind is chill. And then uh, probably this afternoon when the weather picks up, come in um, and try and get some bass. Still got some sand deals from yesterday. <clears throat> um, all dead now, but I don't know whether I don't know whether the uh, well certainly won't be as um, effective, but um, maybe under the float will still work. But yeah, for now um, it is six o'clock. I think Paul's getting down about seven, so I'll have a float round here for a bit. Don't even know where I'm going to fish to be honest. Just enjoy this beautiful sunrise. What a morning to be alive. Just see the corner of snow down here there. Unbelievable morning. Just had half an hour on the lows, but no dice. There's a couple of boats out there. One guy next to me had a small bass. But other than that, all quiet. So I'll come back into the Menai now, just uh, waiting on Paul to arrive. So I'll go and pick him up at the uh, pontoon, and then we'll uh, get out there. See what he fancies doing. And we'll hopefully go and catch some fishes. Oh, <laughs> just dropped off. Good there. Yeah. That, 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 I had one on it, dropped off, I saw it. Not bad size, those two.
coming back into the street. We have had a nightmare with the engine. Starter motor's gone. So we're able to start it manually, but now I can't turn it off. Or if we do, have to take the cowling off, wrap it up and start it manually. Which is a nightmare, there's always summit. So we're gonna go back into the streets, drop the anchor, have some brekkie and try for a few huffs. And then obviously when we uh, when we wanna go, the palaver of starting it manually. Can only get bigger, At this point I'm pretty much a beaten man, my reel's just uh, fallen off, the pins that hold it onto the uh, plate have just uh, failed, so that's died, the weather has turned to shit, this weed rushing through, can't keep rods in the water, um, and obviously the problem with the engine got to take the whole cowling off to get it restarted. I'm a beaten man. been an expensive session. Starter motor. Well, not gonna lie, today has been a fucking disaster. Um, started off with an amazing sunrise to be fair, it was beautiful this morning, um, but it all went tits up when we got to Puffin Island and my starter motor packed in. Managed to get it going, um, which is a bit of a ball lake, but did manage to get it back going um, with the pull cord. But yeah, just a pain in the ass. Then my reel fell apart. Absolute disaster. So it, we cut our trip short, and then the weather changed to be fair. It started pissing down, the wind picked up. So, <laughs> disaster. Absolute disaster. So, Paul didn't really get his trip out, which I promised him. So, I'm sure we'll do it again. Maybe up his neck of the woods, maybe down mine. But yeah, boat's back in the boatyard, it's clean, but it is currently kaput. I await the bill. <laughs>